backgrounds, and cameras give your animations a much more professional and finished look. Time to give Magnus a little bit of an environment and talk about cameras. Okay, so it starts out by going to File, Import, and selecting Frozen Lake Background. I guess we could stick him in the city too, but let's put him on ice. Magnus on ice. And we want to drag the background down to the timeline. And we want to be a little bit careful because it wants to snap to the top layer. And that's going to hide our puppet. So we actually have to drag it underneath. And now we see the puppet. But the new little sort of common issue that happens is that Magnus is no longer armed and the background is armed for recording. And it's not a puppet. So that's kind of weird. So you want to make sure that you switch that so that the red dot is set on Magnus or whatever puppet you've got. And now we're pretty much ready to rock. Something you might want to play with now that you've got a background in your scene is a camera sort of system where you might have like an extreme close up and a wide shot. So how do we do that? Okay, if I go up to scene and I say new scene camera, I'm going to get a third layer, a camera one added to my timeline. And what I can do is have different shots that are triggers. So with camera selected, you can see I've got the camera properties here. Pretty simple X, Y, and sort of a Z, a zoom, right? That we can play with. With this in mind, I would strongly recommend making your backgrounds a little bit bigger than the 1080 by 1920 resolution that is standard so that you can zoom way out. Okay, so let's say this is gonna be our wide shot that we might want to toggle back and forth. Well, with camera selected, I can go to create triggerable shot. And over my triggers, all it's looking for is a keyboard key. In this case, I'm gonna say that's one. Okay. Now, if I wanted a zoom, I could push in pretty far and maybe make him go off to the right because maybe it's an explainer video and, you know, there's content that's going to come up here. All right. So I could make another triggerable shot and I could call that trigger two. Okay. Now, what's really great is whenever I press those keys, you can see that I can now toggle between those different cameras. So that is how we set up backgrounds and cameras in Character Animator.